Well, it's running. I don't know if it's running perfectly, timing-wise. Um, at first it was not, it definitely was flooded. And it didn't want to stay running. It started right away and then it would stop. But um, I think it's okay. I, you know, it's been almost a year since I ran it. But it's, um, I think it's fine. It never did idle super good. I probably need to adjust the um, idling and maybe the high and lows a little bit. But um, I don't want to do that until it's warmed up and actually cutting and stuff like that. So and I have to refresh my memory on doing that. I used to do it from time to time. And then it seemed like it just didn't need adjusting anymore. But um, it started right up. On, well, it quit after I let it just idle and then I started it right up and I'm quite sure if I pull it right now it's going to start right up but I need one hand on the video so I'm not going to do that but it's running so I'll uh, do a follow-up video after I put the bar on and actually do some cutting um, that's you know that's when we'll know even better because we'll be putting to make it do some work well we still have good compression in my opinion it's it's pretty much what it always was so um i think we're good i think we're good to go all right so the next thing i want to do i'll first put a regular bar a regular bar on it and do some cutting but then i'm going to borrow a 36 inch bar from my brother because i'd like to cut those slices and this is the saw to do it with so we'll see if we're successful with that. Okay, let's uh, call it a day on this and I think we're gonna take a trip and have a relaxing weekend. But it's kind of cool. I'm gonna at least feel like I, my saw is ready to run. It probably is.